linear models. Now this lesson applies what we've learned about linear equations to practical applications. Quite useful. And in example one it says that a taxi has a flag full of three dollars and then charges two dollars per kilometer. So in case you're not sure what this means, basically flag full is the initial charge. So even if you just hopped into a taxi and traveled zero kilometers, didn't go anywhere, you would get charged three dollars, right? Because that's what they charge you as soon as you get in. They then charge you two dollars per kilometer, right? So if you traveled, let's say, one kilometer, you would be charged two dollars for the kilometer plus the flag full of three dollars or five dollars just to travel one kilometer in a taxi. All right, now question A says, has asked us to represent this cost on a graph using the y-axis for the cost C and x-axis for the number of kilometers traveled. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by filling in this table. K represents the kilometers traveled by the taxi, C is the cost. Now we mentioned before that it costs three dollars to travel zero kilometers. Let's put the dollar sign right at the beginning and K stands for kilometers. Okay, so if I travel 10 kilometers, because they charge two dollars per kilometer, I times that by two and I add the flag full on at the end. I add the three dollars. 10 times two is 20 plus three, 23. If I travel 20 kilometers, I do 20 times the two dollars per kilometer plus the flag full, which is 43. And each time I'm going to multiply it by 2 and add 3. So 63, 83, 103, 123, 143, and 163. All right, we want to take this table and put the values on our graph paper. But first we need to draw an x-axis and a y-axis, which in this case are going to lie right on the edge. They're not going to go right through the middle like they normally do. And you'll usually notice this with um, practical applications of linear models. Let's get our line. So we'll do two red lines. Let's have one down here. Doesn't seem to want to go too straight. That will do. And we'll put an arrow at the end of it. There we go, done. All right, so we want to put our X and Y axes on there. And what we're going to do is we are not labeling it as X and Y we're going to label it as K for kilometers and C for cost because the number of kilometers traveled represents your x-axis and the cost represents your y-axis. Alright, it's important we put some dashes along here. And some dashes along the vertical line, vertical axis. All right, now, notice with our kilometers, we're going up by tens and we reach the number 80. So I reckon if we do the same with our graph, as long as we finish on 80, we're good. All right, so we didn't quite reach the end, but that's fine if you're a couple short. You just don't want to be too short from the end. Okay, then our cost needs to go up to $163. For this to work, I feel that we need to go up by 20s. You should pick nice whole numbers like 20s or 10s, maybe 5s. When you do this, 120, 140, 160, and we'll go up to 180. And that's going to work out quite well. So, when you have traveled zero kilometers, it costs you three dollars. So, zero matches with three, we'll just go slightly up. Ten matches with twenty-three dollars. Twenty matches with forty-three dollars. Thirty matches with sixty-three. Forty with 
83, 50 with 103, 60 with 123, 70 with 143, and 80 with 163. And we can see that we're going to get a nice linear, uh, we're going to get a nice straight line here. Insert shapes. We'll change the weight and put an arrow at the end. There we go. All right, let's get into our questions now. Uh, question B has asked us to find the equation of the straight line in terms of C and K. And when we do this, it's important to bring up um, our gradient intercept formula. So let's bring up y equals mx plus b. And remember that this form, for this formula, b represents your y-intercept and m represents your gradient. So we're going to have to find the gradient on this line here. And probably the best way to do it is to draw the biggest right-angle triangle you possibly can. Maybe, maybe we won't do the biggest, but we'll make it fairly big. I'll do it in red so you can see it a little clearer. Um, let's go all the way down, not to the bottom, but down to the 23. Dotted lines, it's our right angle triangle. We need to calculate the run and the rise. Now the run is 70 and I can see that straight away because it ends at the 80 and started on the 10. 80 minus 10 is 70. All right, to find the rise, a little trickier, but we can see that it starts at 23 and ends at 163. This would have to be 140 because 163 minus 23 is 140. All right, with this information now, we can find our gradient M using the formula rise over run, or in this case 140 over 70, which gives us 2. All right, so M is 2. And the y-intercept is really simple. It's just where it intercepts the y-axis, which in this case is 3. All right, so this equation now becomes y equals 2x, m is 2, plus 3 as the y-intercept. Now, if you read the question, be very careful, because it said find the equation of the straight line in terms of c and k. We have done this in terms of x and y. But we know what each one means. We know that x represents the k and y represents the c. So all we're going to do is rewrite it with a c in place of the y and the k in place of the x. And now we've done. We've got our equation. Okay. Now let's move on to question c, which says how much would an 18-kilometer trip cost? Um, I think I need to... Oops. I need to make some space for myself here, which is going to be quite tricky. All right, using our formula, C equals 2K plus 3, we've traveled 18 kilometers, so we're going to replace the K with the number 18. Plus the 3, 2 times 18 plus 3 is going to be... Um, I believe 39 and this is in terms of cost so $39 all right last of all question D oops what relationship do you notice between the cost of traveling in a taxi and the gradient and y-intercept. Well, if we look at the cost of a taxi, it was $2 per kilometer, and the flag fall was $3. Down here, we found that the gradient was 2. So gradient is the same as the cost per kilometer. We also found that the y-intercept was 3, which is the same as the flag fall, which was $3. So we'll write that down. Um, 
the flag fall was the same as the y intercept and the cost per kilometer was the same as the gradient. 